First, create a new composition using these settings. After that, add the background material of your choice. If you want to use the same one as mine, I'll provide a download link in the description. Now, arrange your clips the same way I do. Set the blending mode of the first two layers to screen. Duplicate the butterfly overlay to add more subjects in the frame and rotate them as you like. Now, pre-compose all the layers. Go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for Tint. Drag it onto the pre-comp layer and match my settings. Now, search for Deep Glow. Drag it onto the pre-comp layer and copy my settings. Add the PNG of the character you want and adjust it accordingly. Now, duplicate this layer. Go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for CC Light Sweep. Drag it onto the duplicate layer and follow along with my settings. Now, search for Deep Glow, drag it onto the duplicate layer, and copy my settings. And again, go to the Effects and Presets panel, search for S underscore Rays, and apply it to the duplicate layer, and copy my setting. Now, select the original layer, go to the Effects and Presets panel, search for Sharpen, and apply it. Set the Sharpen amount to 15. Now, search for Brightness and Contrast and apply it. Set both Brightness and Contrast to 5, and check the Use Legacy option. Now, pre-compose both layers together, Add any 3D text you like. I'm using the text for my outro, and if you'd like to use the same one, I'll provide a link in the description. If you want your text to be curved, select the text layer, then choose the pen tool from the toolbar and create a mask like this. Now, go to Text Properties, Text Path Options, and change path from None to Mask. Now, add the AE logo, which you can also download from the description, and arrange it accordingly. If you want the text on the eyes, add a text layer, type the name you want, and position it so it matches the character's eyes. Once positioned, go to the Effects and Presets panel, search for Deep Glow, apply it to the layer, and copy my settings. Now, go to the Effects and Presets panel again, search for Drop Shadow, apply it, and copy my settings. And that's it! Now, if you don't know how to export a single frame in After Effects, hover over the Composition tab and select Save Frame As, File, name it, choose the Destination folder, click on Current Settings and switch to Best Settings. Then, instead of Photoshop, select PNG Sequence, click OK, and start the render. That's all for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more.